day here in the garage. So I ordered this on Thursday and today it's Saturday and it did already arrive. Uh, got it from uh, Tukan Hobbies, awesome service. It was, uh, price was uh, really competitive and uh, like I said, shipping was just super quick. I got it from the US warehouse and they had it in stock. And yeah, I know there's been a few un unboxing videos of this, uh, this machine, but it's my first time, so I'll definitely bring you along on opening this one and hopefully soon can do a first test run. It's a really hot day today. There's uh, temperature outside, it's close to, uh, to 100 Fahrenheit, which is very, very warm in Celsius. So I'm super excited for, for this. Uh, I've been trying to uh, get myself a wheel loader for quite some time. It hasn't really been the right time uh, until, until now. So super happy that I was able to, to get one and also that shipping was so quick. So I'll try to bring this a little bit higher so it's even easier to see. So let's see what's uh, underneath. Tools and bubble to, uh, for filling oil, I guess. Maybe some spares. And here we seem to have the radio. I never used one of these before, but they're so common. I'm guessing they're really easy to, uh, to use and operate. There it is, my first loader. Seems to be, doesn't seem to have uh, any shipping damages, at least nothing I can see so far. It's always a good thing. Let's see if I'm able to uh, Lift it without without knocking the camera over. Is it possible? But it should be plenty of heavy enough for my application. Because FedEx actually delivered it 
standing upright, but that's fine. Shouldn't be an issue. Okay, let's do a quick walk around of the machine. It's, uh, I really like it. I've never seen one up close before. A big bucket. All the lights are connected, power, receiver. So, I guess you only need to hook up a battery and you should be good to go. And of course, you have to uh, to add some oil to the tank. It looks really nice. Uh, a couple of things I need to figure out, I guess. I do you like the fact that it comes with a radio and everything installed? Uh, it might be that eventually I'll. I'll change to my uh, one of my Frisky radios just because <coughs> I really like those. Uh, but first, I really need to learn the machine, see how it works. Uh, one thing, I, one thing that I've seen on the videos that I kind of would like to change is the fact that it seems to turn on its turning signals whenever you you turn and that doesn't make much sense. Let's have a look underneath, see how it looks. Transfer case. Seems like it have solid axles. It should to my understanding, it should have diff locks. We'll see. Tires are quite soft. Uh, they should have really good grip. A little bit of a paint chip. Someone, I'm not sure if you can see, but someone tightened, tightened the screws too tight, I guess. That's fine, it will get dirty anyway. Let's have another look what was in the, in the first bag. Uh, some, some scale parts, mirrors and stuff. Let's open it up. Mirrors, uh, I'll figure out where they go. This is like the for, for the hitch, USB cable, which I guess is for the radio. Oh, nice little screwdriver for tiny, tiny bolts. Oil, some extra hose, hydro hydraulic hose. It's not the most expensive one, I guess. It's pretty stiff compared to some other stuff that I've had. One a little bit bigger. Then stickers. We'll put them on eventually. 
and the quick start guide for the radio. So I think next order of business is to get batteries for the radio for, for this one and then add some oil. Okay. Oh, touch screen, I didn't really know. Kind of mix, no mixes. Okay, I guess we'll learn as we go what the different ones do. Okay, I already see that I need to uh, switch some of the channels right now. You have a turning here. And... Uh, I always like to have drive on this side and buckets and, and arms on, on this one. But I do need to fill oil so that will be that will be next. Okay. I think we're getting ready towards our first test. Uh, I added some oil. I uh, added just a couple of stickers uh, off camera. I was also able to uh, Move some uh, sticks around. So this is the way I would like to have it. So the only thing I didn't have time to do right now was to add mixes to um, so so to mix uh, the pump with the functions, but uh, that's to come. So. Even though it's been raining a little bit today, I think it's time for a first first test. 